Taking care to be at your election results headquarters. I'm Shannon New and I'm Tim McGonigal. The ballots have been counted and the votes have been tallied in this all mail in ballot election. Great Falls residents were being asked to vote on a number of both positions and issues. First, let's get a look at the results, starting with the Great Falls mayoral race. Spencer Galloway was challenging incumbent mayor Bob Kelly and the unofficial results tonight indicate that Bob Kelly will keep his position as mayor garnering nearly more than 9,000 votes and uh, Kelly will serve his second term as mayor. Now, Great Falls voters were also being asked to select city commissioners. Three candidates were vying for two open seats. Owen Robinson received the most votes tonight, 7,618, followed by Mary Shihimo, 7,157. Check marks uh, should go by both of their names. Both of them have been now elected to the Great Falls City Commission. Great Falls voters also being asked to vote on the issue of urban chickens. Residents were asked to vote either yes or no for allowing property owners to have domestic hens within city limits. Less than 1,000 votes uh, separates the uh, chickens, the, the uh, votes uh, for or against uh, chickens. Unofficial uh, results tonight indicate more people do not want urban chickens. 6,646 to 6,040. Finally, the economic development levy, if passed, the levy would allow Cascade County to levy up to three mills each year. That would increase taxes to about $4 for every $100,000 of home value each year. If the levy is voted into place, the money it brings will match the amount that the Great Falls Development Authority supporters raise each year to help finalize projects coming into the community. And voters have overwhelmingly said no to the economic development levy. Unofficial results tonight show that 11,749 people or 66% have voted against that versus uh, nearly 6,000 for it. Of course, we'll be continuing to follow.